Hey guys, today's video is going to be an update on Elena's transformation. She's seven weeks in. And hi, this is Mimi Bonnie. I finally figured out the lighting for these kind of videos. And unfortunately, I had a technology snafu and the recording didn't record on my side. So uh, that's why you're going to see some photo images of me instead uh, throughout this video. Anyways, let's see how Elena did over the last three weeks. And as always, for these videos, you can look in the description below for start times on topics. Okay, so today is officially you completing week seven. Yes. And last we talked, it's been a little bit since it's you know, the holidays and everything. Right, so, right. So what has happened in the last three weeks? It has been a very busy three weeks for me. Um, I moved um, into a new apartment, which, which is very exciting, but also was like a lot of work. It was just me doing it by myself. Um, so that took a lot of time. Um, and then the holidays were upon us, <laughs> um, which I unfortunately wasn't really able to spend uh, with family because I had to work. Um, but I was working a lot, so that also has, has taken up like a lot of time. I was thrown off because um, I was moving and I had so much overtime. So I'm happy to be back on a consistent plan and schedule. <laughs> okay, so, so life has gotten in the way. So. How was your eating and your exercise the last three weeks? I'll be honest, it got thrown off. Um, because I was in between places, it was harder for me to cook at home. Um, so I ate out a, li a little bit more, definitely. Um, and I had less time to be able to work out. Luckily, at my job, there is a gym. So on my break, I tried to go there and, like, do some things, you know, as much as I could um, in that time period. But it wasn't the same way that I was before. That's why I am really happy that I'm settled and it's the new year and I just feel really, I don't know, excited to get back okay. into so, it. So two, two detailed questions about your eating and your exercise. And then overall, okay. I just want to see what has happened the last three weeks. So right. when you say that you've been eating out more, I mean, were you still, you know, trying to be flexible and choose healthier foods or were you just like, everything's out the window? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think I was less restrictive. Like I definitely ate more um, freely, I would say, but I did make sure that I was practicing like um, the one meal a day and like intermittent fasting. So I actually like went on the scale f like a few days ago and like took progress pictures and nothing changed. So that was kind of nice to know that like I was still at the same place. I didn't move backwards, but again, I also didn't move forward. Okay. Okay. So you pretty much maintained even though just just, maintained. despite all this stuff, but you were happy that you didn't end up gaining since you right. got off your, your your kind of normal routine. Right, I was worried about that. But I actually, I was the same. Actually, I was like a pound lighter. <laughs> okay. But what about in terms of how you look? Um, I think I look, I, I don't know. I personally feel like I am more confident in putting clothes on still, mm -hmm. despite all of this. And when I took my progress pictures, it looked the same. Like, like I didn't, it didn't really look that much different. Oh, pretty much it seems like the last three weeks over the holidays and you're moving and you're overtime, you've kind of pretty much maintained. Just me. Yeah. Okay. So now you got to really, <laughs> really step it up now, especially in, since it's the new year and you have no excuse because now you're Not you know, at all. in, yeah. you've already moved. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, so you, for the last three weeks then, have you stayed on the same eating plan since, I guess, since you started? Well, um, when I started, I, I made some changes um, in the beginning from how I was eating before the program, but for the past three weeks, I've, I've stayed the same with my eating habits as, a, as the beginning, um, so I really didn't make 
any changes. But um, I knew that the new year was coming. I knew that I was going to get back into a regular routine and have everything um, kind of be more settled. So now I know that I have to make those changes because I'm maintaining, which is great, but I'm not making progress, which is... Okay, okay. Uh, so pretty much you're, you're not making progress, you're maintaining, so you know it's time to change your eating. It's time. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. It's funny because a lot of people think it's just like how many calories and macros do I eat, but it's not about one static eating plan, but more so how do you make changes as your body progresses? Right. And it's, it's kind of like how, how do you recognize that it's time for you to make those changes within yourself, you know? Like for each person, it may be unique. So, like, I might need to decrease at this point, but another person may need to decrease at another point or, like, increase or, you know, change their their plan. Yeah. But it, it's it's unique to the individual, so. Yeah. So, you mentioned intermittent fasting. Let's talk about that since we didn't really talk about that much. So, okay. there's a lot of different types, and it seems like you're saying you chose to do OMAD, the one meal a day. Yeah. That seems to work the best for me, especially because I... I do have a busy schedule and it just it's easier to just like sit down and do that one meal and like plan for that and then that's it <laughs> oh okay so that's actually a lot easier to plan because it's just one super. meal. yeah so, it's so easy to plan <laughs> so <laughs> so when you're eating out were you also just saving up all your calories and fasting until that one meal absolutely oh, okay. yes that does make it easy and that's why again like i was more free about what i was eating and stuff like that like the calories i was like consuming I guess okay. like I wasn't as like breaking it up into different like times or things like that okay it was more of, like this was all my one meal okay so then yeah. you are planning out like your calories and your macros for that one meal I'm better I was better at keeping the calories macros were harder my macros like I said like I was a little bit less rigid about it uh, because I really wasn't sticking to the plan that I had before, because I was just like kind of doing a, a free for free for all for a little bit. Okay, <laughs> I'm, just being, I'm being honest about it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so all that's right. why, like I said again, like I'm really excited to get just in a routine and get back to what I was doing. Because it's even easier when you are following a meal plan because like it's all laid out there for you and like you already know what you're doing. Yeah, no, it's super That's easy because then you instead of thinking, instead of thinking, you know, you just Absolutely. be like, "This is my plan. Let me just execute on it." Exactly, exactly. And so I felt a little all over the place in every aspect because I wasn't keeping myself to that. And so when I started the new year, I started the first day doing a twenty-four hour, you know, fast just to kick starting and get myself back into the routine, and it felt great. Mm -hmm. And do you find that it's easy for you to eat all your calories in one sitting? Uh, at, at first, it was a little bit hard to, like, make sure that I was eating enough. But I think, yeah, after doing it for a little bit, like, it, it definitely is easier. Okay, so you, you've adapted to eating adapted. more, more yeah. calories in one sitting. In one sitting, yeah. yeah. Did you always do OMAD or the one meal a day? No. Okay. I usually just did two meals. I, I never was a breakfast person. I don't like to eat early. I that's just was always my preference. And then I just scaled it back. Okay. So within this these seven weeks, you didn't always do that one meal a day, did you? No. I would say it probably was more consistent it within the past three weeks because I was so busy and because I was like this just makes sense and it's a lot easier and I okay. can stick to it, okay. and it feels so, better. Okay, so you switched to the one meal a day in the last three weeks because it just got so hectic that it was just easier to plan one meal. Okay. It's pretty great to, like, still be implementing these but not having to be so rigid and still being able to maintain. Like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that is cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but I'm sure you want more results, right? <laughs> I definitely do. And that's why, again, like, I'm just, like, gung-ho, like, New Year, just – very excited to yeah. just keep going yeah okay and so let's touch on exercise a little bit so you said that you also didn't have as much time to go extra, you know to the gym yeah i was not as consistent as i was before. there were days where i went like twice a week there were days where i just go for like a half hour on my breaks at work whenever i could like definitely not in the same way that i was before okay 
So even with a less, uh, I want to say, structured eating or more free eating that was way less structured and less time at the gym, you were still able to at least maintain. Maintain, which, yeah, it's pretty which is actually pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So now, what about the new year? What are your plans in terms of uh, your eating and your exercise? I was working New Year's Eve, and um, I vowed that I was going to take that time, because um, I have some, some downtime when I'm at work, to plan out my entire year, <laughs> which is something that you inspired me to do. Um, so I went through like the mindfulness part of the program again, to kind of refocus and, and get myself like excited and and um, back on track with what I wanted to do. And so I planned out my whole year. For me, like that's the most important thing. And I was able to figure out my meal plan better. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Definitely now that I'm I'm in a place and I have a kitchen, I can finally cook again. <laughs> that so, helps. Yeah, that d helps immensely. So, and also saves a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. So let's do. Yeah. So I spent New Year's Eve just redoing it. And okay. So it is make, now. Yeah. It is now January. On this date of this recording, it is now January six. Yeah. So how have you done for the first six days? Good. I've stuck to it. I'm, I'm like really happy. happy. Yeah, I feel good. <laughs> okay, great. And what about your exercise? Actually, yeah, I, I was going, I went to the gym three times this week. I worked out at uh, my job. And, like, there's there's people that I that I work with, and they know that, like, I'm, I'm doing this, um, like, plan. And so they are like, what time are you going to go to the gym? Like, let's go together. And so it kind of has also helped motivate me. They'll be like, all right, I'll meet you there at 7, and, like, we're going to go together, and, like, we're going to do this. Oh, so. that's great. So you definitely yeah, inspire people to, like, your coworkers to go to the gym with you. It's kind of awesome, yeah. And some, some coworkers that actually never saw the gym where we work, they're <laughs> like, where even is this? And I showed them, and they're like, wow, this is actually kind of nice. So That's funny. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I feel good. Like I said, um, I, I still feel more confident in what I'm doing and, and me just in general. So maintaining was good, but also now keeping it to the next level is even better. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Right. Okay, good. So I'm glad to hear that basically it was positive the last three weeks, even though... It does, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's a hard time, so I agree. Yeah. It's like, it's like when I go on vacation, I'm like, I'm not making progress on vacation. I just want to minimize the damage. <laughs> right, right, right. And the fact that I didn't go backwards was super, super cool. And I'm, I'm happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> and I wanted to be honest, like, you know, life happens and it doesn't have to throw off everything that you do. You can still make little, little decisions and, and try to stick to it as best as you can to fit you and your lifestyle. So, yeah, that's great advice right there. Thanks. <laughs> Do you have any feedback on like the the system itself, or like you know, is it too easy, too hard to follow, or like what could be better about it? Or no, I definitely don't think it's too hard to follow because like if it was, I'm one of those people that like I I am busy and I stack my my days and things like that, so I need something that's easier to follow. And the sheer fact that like even when I started. I made a lot of progress because I was following it to a T. And the fact that I have gone three weeks, which is a long time, yeah. of not making changes and still maintaining and being able to do that while focusing on, like, the other aspects of life because life changes and, and things happen and you have to adjust. And having something that's, that's so flexible and that could be shaped around how your life works is pretty amazing i think that's really great yeah okay that's awesome i'm so happy to hear yeah <laughs> thank you okay great